Hey everyone, welcome back to Counter Side. So we have a new update for tomorrow, December, I think it's 28th. And this is the last update for 2021. So let's try to check it out and see what we've got. So go over to our new notice. So as you can see here, um, this is going to be... No, this is going for December 29th. So... For the maintenance, uh, you won't be able to enter. So this up is going to be from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. as usual. Um, object all servers, compensation 300 quartz and 1000 Eternium. So here are the goodies that we are going to receive for this update. New content, New Year circuit unlocked. So a mini game or mini event as well for, you know, for the end of the year. Operation New Challenges Alternate Squad is here and Chloe. So Credit Search is actually back again. So as you can see here, number three is Operation New Episode King's Memory. So this is going to be uh, a new episode for um, the Replacer King. Number four is Attendance Happy Lucky New Year Punch In. This is going to be for December 29 to January 12th. Okay, number five is what most of us have been waiting for. So the counter pass, new counter pass mission and reward replacer king. So um, replacer king is definitely going to be uh, a big change in the meta. Uh, definitely is going to be SS or even triple S in terms of um, rating. So for those who are into PvP, definitely um get this battle this uh counter pass but if you're not into pvp uh, i suggest this is a skip especially for those who don't want to spend and want to remain free to play um he is going to be paid with the counter pass so i think he's the only um weekend unit that we get from the counter uh, so the, the counter pass so i don't know about next year but definitely Replacer Queen is going to be dropping next year. So this year it's going to be the King together with Replacer Knight. So there's a new normal recruitment Replacer Knight probability up. So a new banner for the Replacer Knight. So also we have another banner which is Yen Xing Lancaster Edit Twins and Nail Blue Steel probability up. So those are the banners that we have for tomorrow. So shop added 2022. Thank you package. Please log in for seven days to receive all employment contracts in the package via, via mail after purchase and set tune in binary special package. Also, we have a shop uh, added eight uh, emotes to exchange center. Then gauntlet is 2022 preseason starts at uh, January 3. And danger close new season starts as well. So let's take a look at the expiring banners that we have um for tomorrow before we leave this one so tomorrow um expiring banners will be there are a lot um this is going veronica is going to be seven days left ayami seven days uh alex is seven days nanahara chifui seven days uh regina is definitely going to be up tomorrow so for those of you who have who need, still need to to get hold of Regina through this banner. So please do. You have 9 hours left. Machine Collector is also 9 hours left. So for those who haven't summoned her yet. So please do. Edel is also 9 hours left. So those are I think the expiring banners. So Janos is uh, up to 7 days. And uh, for classified recruitment. We still have uh, 7 days for these two and that is it guys so also seven days for sigma for as operator so um let's take a look at the replacer king and how he um turns out okay so we are here at pridewen.co so for those for if you don't know the website yet so i'll put a link uh in the description for the website so you can check out the reviews skin stats abilities dialogue all is here so replacer king is rated a at pve so you can or you may use him in pve but he will mostly shine in pvp so again um abilities are here 
So he will eventually replace um, Nayubin um, as the meta and more or less um, as, as his pros and cons. So Replacer King, all life will be replaced. So he resurrects the only employee with unlimited range and hit count with his basic attack, which makes him the best sniper killer in the game. One of the best employees for danger close auto teams if you're lazy and just want to get the 3% rewards. And last is his summons work well as meat shields, his hit absorbers. Okay, his cons would be he can't be used like Awakened Yuna and, and COU and you have to protect him. He is quite squishy in, uh, when he kills um, the enemy team. And if you don't provide fresh bodies for him uh, without his passive, he's not going to work. So again, for those who want a replacer king, then go for him. Again, I'll put a link to um, this one, the, the, the website, in the description of this video. And also, um, uh, if, you're, if you're planning to get uh, the Replacer Knight. So Replacer Knight is um, meh at uh, PvE at C. Um, kind of possible to play in PvP. So again, let's go through... Um, go through the analysis for this girl so pros and cons replacer knight pros can be deployed anywhere which might come useful to cheese some stages in pve so um there might be some stages that you might be able to use her and um in terms of uh, cons too low stats to do anything well and high cost but definitely she'll be useful in some stages if you choose to summon for her so again guys those are both um the units that uh, are new tomorrow so hopefully you can either get one of them or should you decide to get the replacer king he is a very good investment just in case you want to spend for the counter pass okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far so hopefully i'll see you in the next counter side video also guys um please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot and also don't forget to click that bell icon thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here